Hello and welcome to Vision Academy. In this video, we are going to learn second lab program of SQL B2. Create a table for household electricity bill with the following fields and enter 10 records. So here entity name Bescom. So here we are going to take a table name called Bescom. And before that, we have to create a database. So let us say I'll create a database name electricity bill. And after that, we have been given with the attribute names, their types, size, and constraints. So let us first of all log in into my SQL by typing password. So here I have used password as password only. So next, here it is prompting us to give the commands. Here, let us first create a database. I'll write create database named electricity bill semicolon and enter now let us use this particular database use i'll write electricity bill semicolon enter and here in this database we are going to create a table with these four attributes now let us write a command called create table table name is here already they have mentioned bescom here i'm going to write b s c o m bescom and inside the round bracket the first attribute uh, name is rr number and the type is var char and the size they have already mentioned as 10 next it should be a primary key here i'm going to write primary key then comma for the next attribute so here cust name that is customer name c u s t n a m e cust name and the type is var char and here size should be 25 so i'll write here 25 close the bracket and it should be not null so n o t should be written in lowercase letter and null should be written in capital letter put comma and press enter now i'm going to write the next column called bill date uh, here you have to write bill date without any space and after giving space we have to write the data type date next comma press enter next uh, attribute is units of type integer and then the size is 4 and for this opening braces i am going to put one more closing brace and put semicolon and hit enter now you can observe that we have already created a table called bescom with these four attributes their type size and constraint now let us insert at least 10 records here they have mentioned in the question itself so in order to insert or populate the table with the data we have to use insert into the table name is bescom here i'll write values then the first value is rr number which is of type varchar here always remember that varchar char and date type of data should be enclosed within a single pair of quotation mark here the first one is rr number which is of type var char hence it is to be enclosed within a single pair of quotation mark for example i'll write electricity bill 0 5 then close the quotation mark next comma customer name that is also var char type of data here in a single quotation mark i can write name of the customer and close the quotation mark comma next we have date date should be enclosed within a single pair of a quotation mark so bill date uh, for example i am going to write here first we must know the format of uh, my sql date so first four digit year two digit month and two digit day separated by hyphen so let us write 2025 hyphen 07 hyphen and here I'll write 24 and quotation mark. Next is units. Units is of type integer. Hence, we should not use any single quotation mark here. So, you can use 
some of the units greater than 100 and some of the units less than 100 because here in the question you can observe we have got a certain amount for certain number of units if it is above 100 units then 8.5 rupees per unit similarly uh, if the units are less than 100 then 7.5 rupees per unit here for example i'm going to write 97 close the bracket semicolon and hit enter so we have created one record use up arrow mark and make modifications here so for example here i'm going to write 101 and here i'm going to make modification of date and i'll change the name of the customer Now you can see that I have already inserted 10 records. Now let us go for executing the first query. View the structure of table. So in order to view the structure of the table, we have to write DESC or describe then name of the table, which is BESCOM. And put semicolon, hit enter. You can observe here. This is the structure or we can say schema of the table it's a logical description of the table is called schema now question number two list all the records in order to show the records present in the database we are going to use select all from the table name is bescom and put semicolon hit enter you can observe that we have these four columns with 10 records now Question number three, add a new field for bill amount in the name of bill amount. So we have to add one more column to this existing table. In order to add one more column to the existing table, we have to use alter command, alter table, table name is bescom. Then we have to use the command called add. And here the name of the field is bill amt. Here I'll write bill AMT float. And here I'm going to write the size as 7, 2. Close the bracket and put a semicolon hit enter. So here we have already added one more column to this existing table. In order to check that, use up arrow mark, press one more time till we get select all from BESCOM and hit enter. You can observe that we have added one more new column to this existing column after units column so bill amount is right now for every record it is null now we have to add values to each and every tuple of this particular table or relation so in order to do that we have to update the table now let us check out the question number four compute the bill amount for each consumer as per the following rules option a minimum amount 100 rupees even though the customer has used zero units here for this particular user or rajeshwari customer she has used zero units even though that the minimum bill 100 rupees she has to pay option b for first 100 units rupees 7.50 per unit c for the above 100 units rupees 8.50 per unit so in order to apply this one we have to use update command so here i'm going to write update and the name of the table is bescom and we have to set bill amount bill amt is equal to here we have to apply this particular condition that is minimum amount is 100 so write 100 as it is plus the number of units consumed by the 
consumer. So here I'm going to write Unix into. We have got 7.5 rupees per unit. So I'll write here 7.5 per unit. Next here I'm going to write where clause where condition. So number of units. If it is less than or equal to 100, less than or equal to 100, then 7.5 rupees per unit. And here you put semicolon hit enter. So here four rows got affected. Next, again we will use update command if the number of units are greater than 100. Here you can observe for 101st unit. 8.5 rupees per unit is to be applied. So here I'm going to write update press con set bill amount bill AMT is equal to 100 rupees is fixed plus here I'm going to write for the first 100 units it will be 7.5 plus and inside of the bracket I'm going to write units minus 100. Why? Because 101st, if I write here, you can observe we have got 101 units in the first record called Jagadish. So, number of units consumed by this consumer is 101. For the first 100, it should be 7.5, and for the 101st unit, it should be units is what? 101. 101 minus 100, it will become 1. 1 into 8.5 this particular rate will be applicable to the 101st unit so here i'm going to write into 8.5 where units is greater than 100 and semicolon hit enter you can see six rows affected now we are going to check out whether the bill amount is calculated properly or not so let us use up arrow mark, up arrow mark, up arrow mark till we get select all from BESCOM. Earlier it was null, now it will become updated with the values. Now you can observe here, you can calculate for the first 100 units, it is 750 plus 100 rupees fixed, 850. And for the 101st unit is 8.5. You can see here 858.50. So this is the absolutely correct answer you can observe here units consumed by the customer called rajeshwari whose units is zero so even though units are zero she has to pay minimum 100 rupees now let us go to question number five display the maximum minimum and total bill amount here i'm going to write select maximum of bill amount next comma here minimum of bill amount can be used as min of bill amt close the bracket comma and then we'll write total for total we are going to use the built-in function called sum so all the three of them are called aggregate functions max min sum so here i'll write bill amt from which table best com semicolon and hit enter so here you can observe it is displaying maximum of bill amount minimum of bill amount and sum of the total bill amount now the question number six list all the bills generated in a sorted order based on rr number so rr number all of them are in a random way we have to arrange them in a order so what we can do here is we can write select all from best con order by rr number and semicolon hit enter you can observe that so all of them are written in increasing order except this e4 because i did not write here 04 so that's the reason it has come at the end i hope you understood this program if so please write down in the comment box as understood and if you want to check out this program then the link is given in the description below thank you so much for watching this video till the end and we'll see you in the next video